man. Y'all know what time of the year it is, man. Mike Wayne tweeting again. Mike Wang, if you don't know, Mike Wang is the guy. He's the head of gameplay at NBA 2K. All right. And it's a repeating cycle. <laughs> this month tweaks when the game comes out for about a month. Then the go missing for the next months. He's nowhere to be found. He say he's going to the store to get some goddamn milk, some cigarettes. Never comes back, and then when a new game is about to come out, here come Mike Wang again tweeting. Yeah, you're going to need this for new animations. You're going to need that for new animations. Yeah, yeah, we added this in the game. We added that in the game. Let me tell you what. I'm tired of this goddamn abusive relationship, Mike. I had enough of this shit, man. I had enough. No cap. I did not, wear, I did not read a single Mike Wang tweet because I just don't care, bro. I know you're not going to be here when we need you the most when you find the, the exploits, man. When you find the bull builds and the bull layups and animations six months into the game, Mike, you're, you're going to be nowhere. When we needed you most, you're gone, man. You're f gone. All right? But they did drop a trailer, though. They dropped the trailer to the goddamn game, man. Oh. Welcome to our first. Oh, no, 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 no. Mike Wayne, get your ass out of here. We don't want to see that first. Where's the trailer? Where's the trailer? Chat, who hyped for 2K? Who hyped for 2K25? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Who hyped? Where the 2K at? Wait a minute. Why Trace O' Hairline said we hyped? No, we're not. What a hype at? Nobody. Y'all not hype? Hell no. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> not hype, bro. Damn, bro. Watch this trailer, bro. Get hype, man. Is that key clock? Gameplay from next gen. Okay. Pro play only available for next gen. Captured on PS5. I'm sorry, y'all. We got 4K quality. Run it back. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm at nine thousand. Goddamn. That was hard. That was hard. Damn, them shoes weak as hell. <laughs> Bro. Twins. Greatest trailer I've ever seen in my life. That's cool, not gonna lie. Listen, it was a typical 2K trailer. Honestly, I'm not going to get on here and be on the whole big 2K spew, hate, whatever, like that, because uh, it, it was an okay trailer. Like, 
when somebody told me that 2K was dropping gameplay tomorrow, I was like, yo, I think I said it's gonna be a bunch of hype music and just gameplay cuts and shit like that. Like, this is a typical 2K trailer. We're used to seeing this by this point in time because we've been through this cycle so many times. Um, what I can say is, uh, not blown away in any way. Some of the players in this motherfucker look really good though. No cap. Like that Jason Tatum, this Jamal Murray looks good. Like it looks good, but at the same time, there's not, I don't know about y'all, there's not much that I can learn from this trailer because yeah, you're telling me there's over 9,000 animations and shit like that in the game, but first of all, y'all gonna take y'all sweet ass time to release a good amount of them because y'all gonna put them behind season rewards. Um, oh, sorry, not season rewards, but um, what do you call that shit? Um, seasons, you know what I'm saying? Like the seasons. And um, it's an okay trailer, bro. I think that honestly, 2K, this is again, I'm not trying to go into a whole hate 2K spew. 2K got one of the worst video game rollouts, period. Like, y'all motherfuckers don't show gameplay or nothing until like the game is like about to come out. Like, um, I think Madden just did the same too, but like, you know, Cal 2K, y'all got one of the worst video game rollouts of all time. And I, it's just, the reason why it's that way is because they're going to make guaranteed money. I'm not going to get on no um, soapbox and act like I'm not buying this game. My $70 is guaranteed. They're going to, I'm buying the game, bro. All right. Um, but damn, this is trash. <laughs> So let's see if we can get some information from Mike Wayne because I do want to learn more about the game. All right. Matter of fact, I, they're getting more than seventy dollars from me because I got to do giveaways for the community. I think I'm gonna give away at least two of those, uh, two copies of the game. Um, and then I gotta buy. God damn, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, it's getting to the point where I, I buy the game for my brothers and my nephews. So I'm part of the problem. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Let's do it though. This NBA 2K25 courtside report. Today we'll be talking about gameplay, which is powered by ProPlay. I'm Alexis Morgan, and joining me today is gameplay director for NBA 2K25, Mike Wang. Mike, what's Mike Wang, tell me something new, man. What's going on? Oh, it's great to be here, Alexis. Okay, more so gameplay. It's an exciting new uh, technology that we introduced last year, and it allows us to take real NBA footage and translate that directly to the on-court gameplay. Mm. So it brings a whole new level of realism and authenticity to the gameplay experience. So what can you tell us about a the new, new dribble, dribble engine. engine in NBA 2K25? Oh, this is one of the most amazing upgrades that we've had to our engine probably in 15 years. So um, mm. this is a new dribble engine built from the ground up that, that takes basically all these pro play animations that we have, over 1,500 animations, and it dynamically creates all the movement and all the transitions that you need to make. Hey, when the Texans and Bears are done playing, I will react to that too. Will move exactly. Shot me to look decent. To Yo, that's one of the things that I've been hearing about, and I hope he talk about it. Yo, 2K, one of the biggest W's I'm gonna get y'all. I've been complaining about this for like five years. I heard the court has got bigger. All right, thank God. I heard the court is bigger. I heard that they increase the size of it because, man, zones in NBA 2K are too fucking overpowered because the players are too big for the court. That's why somebody can keep running these damn 2-3 zones and 3-2 zones and the traditional things that you would do in real life to break those zones. It don't matter in 2K because the players can cover so much fucking ground. Now, will it work? Will it, will it nerf zones? I don't know. I, we got to play the game. We got to get it to see. But I like that they have done that. You got an Apple Watch on? Yes, I do. I'm not going to lie about this Apple Watch and wore it for one month and then it didn't wear it again, so I'm trying to wear it. I really want to take it off right now. Why did you point it out? Because now I really, really want to take it off. I don't know why I can't wear these for long. We've had 9,000 new pro play animations to the game this year. A lot of them are shots, signature shots. So nearly every player in the league. It's fake. Jailbreak it. You could jailbreak Apple Watches? What happened? What can you get? High beast ass nigga. No, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all on some real shit. The, the reason why I wore this Apple Watch, why I bought it, I was sitting in the room and I felt like my heart was racing. And I didn't want to run an urgent care because that was gonna cost a nigga a lot of money. So like, man, let me go buy this Apple Watch and monitor my heart rate. And then when I bought it, I realized I was in this bitch tripping. I was in this bitch. 
Out in the bitch. Out in the bitch. Out in the bitch. Bro, but I'm telling you, I feel like my heart was racing. I'm like, ah, damn, bro. What the fuck? This is a true story. Runchy, Runchy, no. Runchy, Runchy, literally, no. I'm literally telling the truth. Why the fuck did I tell y'all that? But let's keep it going, bro. They now has a signature shot. One of the cool things that we added was this feature really added 9,000 new pro play animations to the game this year. A lot of them are shots, signature shots. So nearly every okay. player in the league now has a signature shot. One of the cool things that we added was this feature called signature go-to shots. So if you remember in 2K24, you could flick the right stick up and you could um, do a little size up sequence to get open, right? In Ooh. 2K25, if you hold the right stick up, you can do a size up sequence that branches directly into your jump shot. So it's a nice way to get open and get some shots off. Okay. I'm liking that. Yo, 2K, with every player having signature shots, can we get rid of this, like, a jump shot? I just don't understand how one jump shot base can be significantly better than other ones. Like, can we fix that? <laughs> and I used to be one of them people. I used to be like, nah, I think it's a lot of other good bases. People are just not finding them. But let me tell you what. This nigga got a double cup. No, I don't. Nigga. I got a Chick-fil-A cup, and I didn't have a straw. They didn't give me a straw, so I'm just sipping it without the thing. But um, let me tell you what, bro. A lot of them bases in the game is shit. It don't matter how much you try to cook with them, no matter what you put on them, them bases is shit. So can y'all please fix that? I'm, I'm trying to come at y'all with like a, 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 I'm just asking questions. Like, please fix that. Because like, it's, it's, it's no reason I should play 12 games in a row and I see at least one person in that court Rocking the same base if you got over 9,000 jump shot bases in the game. Let's say a player wants to recreate moves from their favorite NBA superstar. How does Pro Stick Rhythm Shooting do that? Yeah, so Pro Stick Rhythm Shooting is probably one of my favorite features of the game because it's just a new way to play, a new way to shoot. So in the past, it's always been the same, right? You hold a button down, release it to get, to get your shot off. Uh -huh. With real stick rhythm shooting, what you want to do is you want to try to match the rhythm of the player's shot. So you pull the right stick down, and when he gets to the, his set point, you push the right stick up in rhythm with how he shoots in real life. So if you... Man, hell no, nah, who using that? Nigga, square only! Square only! You think I got time to be doing that? What the fuck? Who the fuck is shooting like this? I remember back in 2K11, they had free throws. This is not something new. That ain't new. I remember back in 2K11, they wanted you to put that bitch down and press it up. They even, it's, your, your first free throw, they tell you how to do that in the tutorials. They tell, I'm, I swear, I'm not doing that. Hell no. Nah. I'm on, first of all, online, you know it's going to be delayed. <laughs> hey, that's a nice look. Hey, Mike Wayne, nice idea. I'm pressing square. You master rhythm shooting you can actually be much better than someone who uses a traditional regular button shooting. God damn, I got a rhythm shoot. God damn, I knew it. I knew that shit was gonna be better than us. God damn, man. Fuck, I'm telling y'all right now, this is a typical 2K cycle from what I know. Those that master that early, gonna cook. Bro, who was one of the first niggas to really start using the uh the shot aiming on 2K21. Was that it? I think it was 21. That shot aiming, I really, I really, I was shot creating. I started to use that 21 early before the Zen niggas ruined it. The niggas that was using that early, it was fucking OP. It was hard to master at first because it was a new mechanic. We didn't get it. But when you started to use that bitch. It was fucking OP. So I'm predicting this shot aiming shit gonna be the same one. The same way, sorry. If you're, you know, just wanna play casually, you're just picking up the game for the first time, put it on low, mm. put it on real player percentage and just try to take good shots. And as you get better at the game and kind of master your timing, bump it up to high and you're gonna see that you're gonna <laughs> perform way better than you did with the other profiles. There's a new shot canceling feature. So Why Trey Young look like this? To break out Atlanta of killing him. He looked tired. Profiles. There's a new. They killing him. 
shot canceling feature. So what it allows you to do is to break out of any advanced shot. And just like the go-to shots we talked about, the signature go-to shots, you can break out at any time. So if you start one, you're holding the stick up, and then you, know, you see the defense collapse, oh, or you man. see the opening, you can... Good night to the niggas in. That's going to cook the most in park. Because in park, it's you one-on-one -on -one at the top of the key. And once a nigga hits a step back, bro, look, oh, yeah, they fucked him up. When I already do that, yeah, I, yeah, I already know. Like, I feel like that's kind of already in the game a little bit. I remember back in, was that 17? They kind of had something that was like that, but it was kind of like a glitch move, whatever. But that's going to be OP. A nigga hit a step back. You think he hitting that shot. He jumps straight to the rim. Straight to the rim. Flick the right stick to do another move, to like chain out of it, or you can just throw the left stick and, and take a lay in the basket. It's like a way more robust hesitation feature. You okay. Offense wins Wait a games, minute. but defense wins championships. So what does this mean in NBA 2K25? Well, yeah, you know, defense is a huge part of the game. It's, it's you know, something that's people don't always look at it as being the coolest part of the game, but it's the most important part, I think, to win games. So, um, you know, there's a number of new defensive mechanics and upgrades to this year's system. One of my favorites is one we're calling the defensive movement system. And so if you're holding down the intensity trigger, you can... What the fuck was that? He must have changed the name, nigga. Mike Wayne, you, I'm, I'm a video editor. You didn't say that in this video. You added some new shit. Is one we're calling the defense... Nigga, Mike changed. ...to movement system. And so if you're holding down the intensity trigger, you can slide left and right laterally or forward and back even, and you can cut off the ball handler. And if you can anticipate well and you, and you do it at the right time, you can cause them to lose their... Mmm, that animation's gonna be bullshit. I already know that Hall of Fame AI gonna keep getting that shit. Dribble or pick up their dribble. You know, if you're the on ball, you know, locked down defender kind of guy, then that's the thing you wanna master. Let me tell you what. 2K is, I mean, defense in 2K is a touchy fucking subject because niggas don't really want defense in 2K to be good for real. They don't. The moment that 2K gives us tools, I used to always say, bro, 2K fix the defense. And I remember at the beginning of like this year and uh, just some other years as well. Well, nah, it probably was really just this year, maybe. But, bro, 2K for a while, they will fix defense to where you could play some solid defense. And then guess what? Here come all these playmaking niggas with 99 dribbles and all that shit. Getting mad that you're, that you're cutting them off. Them niggas getting mad that they're getting ripped. Um, if 2K ever have the steals up to a decent number... Niggas complain that stealing is bad, all this shit. Like, the 2K community is really, they got a hate, hate relationship with defense. They pretend like they want the defense to be better, but absolutely not, bro. Because the moment that defense is decent in these games, niggas cry like a bitch, bro. Like, steals are not part of the game. It be bad, bro. Now, I do, I will acknowledge there's been times in the past where steals were overpowered. They're overpowered. But a, a, a good amount of time, y'all nigga was just bitching, bro. But let's keep it going. How can players level up and get that win in NBA 2K25? Well, 2K25 this year is all about personalization and customization and accessibility. Um, so whether you want to take on some of the new stuff we talked about, the advanced rhythm shooting mechanic, or if you're less familiar with 2K, there's a new feature called Learn 2K off the main menu where you can jump in and whether you're a novice at the game or you've been playing for years, there's something for you to learn. Film room? What the fuck is that? Where you can jump in and... Yeah, that's, that's traditional shit. Whether you're a novice at the game... What's the complete big term? Or traditional or you've been shit. Playing for I, I really care about film room. Watching videos on how to perform each move. Man, these nigga, boy, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm about to be quick to tell a bum ass nigga, make, make go study film, nigga. Go study film, nigga. <laughs> hey, wait, we send a nigga to the film room, bro. As soon as the nigga sell you, man, take your bitch ass and watch some film, bro. Real nigga shit, bro. Now, um, this looks like 2KU, um, except maybe they kind of broke the, the tutorials down a little bit, but I don't know what the mini games are. This shit look like um 2KU. Lean break, I swear on my unborn kids, I do not do no damn lean, bro. What is wrong with y'all? A nigga can't hold a cup. For years, there's something for you to learn. There's
I wonder, I wonder what these mini games are. Yo, can y'all fix Blacktop? I know a lot of the players don't really play it, but Blacktop fucking sucks, bro. Please go back. Improve all parts of the game. Go back to when y'all had a decent looking Blacktop and y'all had multiple er uh, areas. I know some niggas gonna be saying, nigga, there's other shit wrong with the game. Fuck you, nigga. We can talk about everything else. Blacktop fucking suck. I be so tired of y'all, the same environments. Fix that shit, bro. There's a basic tutorial, advanced tutorials. New shot meter. Mappings. There's mini games and drills. What is this? Okay. And all kinds of. Okay, I gotta see them. Like just different ways to practice. Don't tell me these are the same mini games that was in like the uh, team practice uh, facility. Learn plays, everything. So if you want to learn the game and get better at 2K, it's the first place you should go. Thank you so much, Mike. Go back to 2K9 Blacktop. For joining us today and talking. I can't remember what the hell they look like. Insta Green. Oh shit. Been playing for years. There's something for you to learn. There's a basic tutorial, advanced tutorials. Controller mappings. There's many. Oh wait, I, I guess it, it lets you know when you got excellent release games and drills and all kinds of like. Just I remember the delay games. W raid, who raid? Hey, Everything. JC, thank so, you for the raid game. The game Appreciate that. Two K. It's the first place you should go. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us today and talking through all of the new Two K okay. Twenty Five gameplay features. I'm so excited to see how pro play. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Shout out to Mike Wayne. Thank y'all for the information. Um. My hype for this game is at an all-time low, respectfully. Um, just got to buy the game. <laughs> it is at a all-time low. But I want to tell y'all, I'm excited to get the game and create new content. For real. Like, um, I'm excited to get the game, get sell back on it. Just, just play the game for as long as we play it, shit like that. But I'm not necessarily thinking like, oh, man, I, this is going to be a great game, whatever. I don't really have too much hope, to be honest with y'all. I don't got too much goddamn hope. Straight like that. But I'm interested to see how the game plays with a bigger court. I wonder if they increase the court in park as well. I doubt it, but who knows?